So you're welcome to another session of the A2 Library Tutorial Series. And um, we are still on our journey when it comes to data analysis. And then um, in our first tutorial, that was just a general overview of what our, what this section is going to cover. Oh, um, what we are going to cover when it comes to data analysis. And we said previously that um, we are going to deal with how you can use pivot tables, how you can use power pivots. And we also move on to advanced form. That is, we will start with power query, how you can clean your data using power query. After cleaning your data too, um, sometimes you have to perform some computations on them. And we can also use power query to do some calculations after cleaning our data. And so, um, from Power Query, creating some tables and uh, all the way to Power Pivots or Pivot Tables, we then have to move to Power BI. And so Power BI, that is the advanced platform, which will be dealing with more visualization in depth. And so before you can perform your analysis appropriately, uh, before you can visualize your data, there's a need for you to clean your data. And that is why we are starting our data analysis journey with data cleaning. This particular tutorial will only focus on removing blank rows and clearing formatting. And so one may ask, why do we, uh, why the need for data cleaning? And we are saying that uh, there's a need to clean your data because of the following reasons. One, we are saying that clean your data you'll be able to read and interpret your data easily. Why are we saying that? Because most often the data that we use are not our own. We normally generate this data from external systems, from database applications, even from web services. And some of these data that we do generate, you realize that the files that we get or the files that we generate, the data that's, that, 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 that comes with a file, or when you open the file, what do you see? The information, you realize that sometimes it looks very clumsy. You realize that even the some of the text, you won't be able to see it well, and it doesn't fit the cell. And so you have to clean it so that you'll be able to read it very well. You'll be able to read it it comes very clear and therefore reading it uh, becomes easier without any difficulties. A typical example is a CSV file. You realize that after downloading it, um, you have to do something with that particular file. Otherwise it will become very difficult for you to interpret. So we have to clean our data so that reading becomes easier. Reading becomes efficient and also interpretation also becomes something which is difficult. Now, sometimes when you extract data from some applications, you realize that there is no consistency or there is no uniformity. It might be that uh, we have some text in upper cases and we have some text in lower cases. And so you have to decide whether all, that, all those texts in that particular uh, file um, should be in lower case or upper case. And we are also saying that um, there might be some text that will be, um, let's say you have, uh, it's been italized, some are not italized. Maybe you have some figures and those figures needs to be in a form of currency, but you realize that after extracting your data, the figures does not come with any currency symbol and so forth. So you have to clean your data so that you, you will get some currency in there, some currency symbol in there. Now we have to clean our data so that we can be able to perform computations and get accurate results. Your results needs to be accurate. And therefore, if you're not able to clean your data, computation becomes very difficult. So we clean our data so that our results becomes the one that we need. And therefore, after cleaning your data, the computations that you perform on your data will come out with what you are expecting. Now, after generating accurate results, it means that we'll be able to make better decisions. 
if you are not able to generate accurate results, if you are not able to perform correct correct computations on your data, how are you going to draw more insight into your data? How are you going to make predictions? How are you going to make conclusions from your data? And therefore, before you can make better decisions from your data, it, you need to clean your data. Yeah, so these are some basic advantages of cleaning data. And we are going to start our journey. And now you can clean your data by this time around, just removing blank rows and clearing formatting. All right. So we start with this particular Excel sheet. You realize that um, we have some information over here that is not fully seen. And therefore, you want to see all the information captured in the cell. You can click on it and see it over here, but we want the particular, we want this one to be expanded. And so we don't want to be expanding it one after the other. We can just highlight from this side to this side, remove our case. And you realize that mm, 20 of the columns to the edge of the column and you double click. So there's increase in length. You can decide to close it uh, because you don't need that particular spaces. Fine. So that is it for removing. Um, this one is just to increase the length. Yeah, to increase the speed that we have for our cell. So that is it. Now you can see everything clear. So we also have some blank rows in there and there's a need to remove all those blank rows. All right. So you can also highlight from this side to this side. Then on your home ribbon, you have the find and select. You click on that. Then you click on go to special. Blanks, you click on okay. You realize that it highlighted all our blank rows. Then you click on delete, still another home ribbon. You click on delete, delete sheet rows. You realize that all our blank rows are now deleted. All right. Okay. So we want to clear our format. It could be that after extracting our data, it came with this format. Sometimes you have some italics in there and therefore there's a need for you to clear the formatting that came with the file or the format the 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 the, uh, the format style that came with the file there's a need to clear it so we can click on any of the cell then we use the control a it highlights everything now you come to clear then you click on clear format and you realize that everything is off the color is off and therefore you can now apply your own format. All right, so this is what we have for you and our data analysis journey. Um, we just started with data cleaning and expect more in our incoming videos. So thank you and remember to subscribe to our channel because we have a lot of things for you. All right.